Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will design steel structure in Tekla Structural Designer 2020. In this tutorial, we will design steel columns, composite floor system, that means steel beam with the provision of composite slab and bracing. So let's start. the TSD program go to new step on setting sets click on new model settings check available setting sets change if required and make it active here we can see settings setting set here uae settings usa matrix settings this one active if we want to import another settings you can click on this australia europe any other settings click click on ok then we can make it active i will go with usa matrix settings click on ok step two we will check design code from model settings go to model settings here we will go with american standard 2016 version resistance codes steel design aisc lrfd 2016 unit we will use metric unit we can change it to us customary also that will be in keep ins we will go with metric click on ok step 3 we will go for construction levels that means floor levels go to model tab construction levels here insert above we will define the floor height 3.2 meter insert above 3.2 meter we will go for six storied building then we will go for portal frame shed above the building 3.2 meter then here eave level 4.5 meter and the ridge level 5.2 meter now here we will choose the type of the levels base this one top of foundation level one top of steel we will go for top of steel ssl means structural slab level for steel structure we will go for top of steel here in the seventh floor this is not floor this eve level and this one ridge level and others are floor system from level 1 to level 6 we will have similar floor plan so we will make the source level 1 level 1 will be unique click on ok the next step we will go for grids grid line we will go with rectangular grid next 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 along x direction number of grid 5 along y direction 5 4 meter next next finish in the next step we will model steel columns click on column here we can customize the properties for columns i will not go for auto design i will start with the section 310 and weight 
1.107 kg and depth of the web 310 millimeter select and other things we will keep same we can save this property for further use save still column rolled click on ok if I choose column here then I select this one then it will import the saved properties now I can draw column in this way I'll select the columns I can change the section edit with 460 by 193 select and this will be up to level 6 go to structure tree from here I will go to level 1 double click I can rotate column orientation also for internal columns 90 degree click on beam camber without camber here we can provide size constraints that means maximum depth of the beam we can customize here minimum depth we can provide here 150 150 this will be composite beam Restraint LTB top lens save these properties click on OK model peripheral beams now for intermediate beams we will add camber then save it click on this now draw the intermediate beams in the next step we can go for modeling sub beams go to edit tab create in fields number of sub beam 3 for this sub beams we can choose composite with camber then we can select all the area then click the side of beam for the direction next step model composite dex lab go to model tab from here composite slab here this is the decking properties there are different standard properties for dex slab and we can customize the thickness I will go for 125 millimeter total depth this one we can save with a name 50 mm decking with 75 millimeter topping now I can draw deck slab in this way save the model next step we will model bracing we can go to 3d view click on frame then pick the grid this side click on this 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 and this one okay now we can choose frame first we can go for grid 1 frame 1 select 
x brace here we can choose type of bracing new here I will go with round ACSS select this one grade of the bracing 50 ksi section I can choose here 190.5 millimeter dia thickness 6.4 select from here press enter press enter now I can copy this bracings edit copy here and here now I can go for frame A now I will go to 3d view I will copy this side pressings Now from here copy, unmark all and only select the brace from here to here. Same way, this side I will select then copy, unmark all, only brace pair from this node. To this node go to frame a we have to check our eve and reside go to model levels here 4.5 is facing and this one will be 0.7 meter here 4.5 plus 0.7 the total height will be 5.2 from this point like this crease height we can increase little bit more make it one meter click ok like this now go to 3d view from here this is the frame a or grid a this column and this column we will continue up to level 7 here frame A click on beam this beam will be non-composite click on this here we need a midpoint of this 20 meter length so we can draw beam here then from here at the midpoint from here at the midpoint then we can delete this one now we can go to 3d view we can copy this one edit copy now we can model time member go to model here you can change the shape rectangular aces select rectangular aces 76 and thickness 6.4 select select the members edit copy okay next step load cases go to load tab load cases choose or add required load types go to load load cases dead load floor finish ff live load 
another one partition wall load and construction live load now we will go to level one as we have similar stories so if we apply load here same load will be applied to other similar stories first we have to ensure that our load case is selected floor finish then this load buttons will be active click on level load floor finish 2 kN per meter square select any member of the level then live load 2 kN partition wall load will apply 1 and construction live will be 1 kN per meter square we can apply dead load and live load for portal shed on the beams for example we want to apply 0 0.2 kN per meter square for the roof of the portal shed so we can calculate the area load to linear load calculator this direction this is 6 meter so 0 0.2 into 6 1.2 kN per meter go to load check the loading type here we can choose this floor finish type then full UDL 1.2 for intermediate beams because both sides 6 meter span so contributory width 6 meter for S beam contributory width will be 3 meter 0 0.6 okay live load if we take 0 0.57 kN per meter square then 0 0.57 width contributory width 6 meter it will be 3.42 full UDL 3.42 and for S beams this will be half 1.7 gravity loading application finished now we will go for lateral loading wind load and seismic load model wall panel press enter we can model extra two column in the gable end of, of portal shed go to column rotation 90 degree from here to here then from here to here for continuation of these columns we can select this column and this column and rotate 90 degree like this and copy these columns edit copy from here to here these two columns also we can rotate 90 degree now we will continue modeling wall panel model
press enter wall panel finished now we will go for roof panel now we can go for wind loading wind wizard rigid buildings of any height next automatically the height has been taken 23.7 meter level of highest opening in the building 23.5 meter use mean roof height the program has taken the length width and height go to next we have to provide the basic wind speed for example the building where it is located their basic wind speed is 42 meter per second and directionality factor 0.85 gust factor 0.85 the building is enclosed we can provide the elevation of the ground above sea level for example 1.5 meter and the axis of wind direction positive x positive y negative x negative y next calculated pressure q max 0.855 kN per meter square from here we can check the details click on finish now we can generate wind load cases auto we can define the direction positive x positive y negative x and negative y click on okay okay now we will go for seismic wizard we will go with code spectra next generate seismic load cases here mapped maximum earthquake response acceleration input is in percent of gravity according to seismic location map so for example where the building is located at that location ss is 22 percent of gravitational acceleration or 0.22 and s1 12 percent that means 0.12 soil properties stiff soil this will be calculated from here this category 2 importance factor 1 okay seismic design category we can choose alternative SDC determination as per IBC code next here if we have irregularities torsional irregularity re-entrant corners different types of plan irregularities here we have the figures from here we can determine which type of irregularities available in the building if there is no irregularity we can choose no plan irregularities in that case equivalent lateral force procedure is permitted if there is any irregularities like torsion then modal response spectrum analysis is required we have no plan irregularities here i will go with elf next for example 10 and ts sd1 by sds 0.805 structure type is still moment resisting frames next live load 25 percent of live load for seismic weight finish it will automatically prompt combination generator go with this next as we will go with lrfd design so these two we will choose 
we will not choose ASD combination next finish we will check our load combinations here seismic load combination generated now we will include wind loading also so generate delete all previously generated combination go to next here we will go for lrfd load combination this 1.4d 1.2d plus 1.6l so all these loads are selected as per lrfd load combination i'll choose this one and then next next finish now i have to create another load combination for cambering of beam during the construction stage click on add for camber click on this mark here construction stage click on ok our load combinations finished now we will go for design steel members go to design design is still static after designing it is showing the status of the members check here wind drift increase these column sections this one this one we will choose Four sixty by one, and this beams also we will increase. Here it is two hundred fifty by seventy three. We can go with four hundred ten by fifty three. Almost all the members passed. Few members are having warning we can check the warnings and accordingly we can modify the section to optimize the design now we can review our result ratio demand capacity ratio it is showing the demand capacity ratio all are below one that means passed now we can go to result view we can check deflection here we can choose load cases or we can choose load combination also for load cases we can see for lateral loads wind from here we can increase the scale this for seismic We can check axial force. We can see text result in the diagram. From here, text share measure. moment measure we can see reaction force click on 1d air forces we can see text for reaction we can go for load combination this is the reaction forces we can go to structure view we can see composite slab on composite beam we can select any beam here it will show select entity we can press down arrow button 
like this this is the beam now right click open member view here we can see the composite floor on composite beam now we can go for design report go to report model report content we can create new report named report first we can take picture here then structure levels floor area remove this one floor click on this then loading load case summary combinations in this way we can customize our report content then we will make it active click on ok now show report so this report generated this one we can export into word format or into pdf format excel format also we can close this one now now we can go for generate drawings go to drawing arrangement general arrangement add content we will choose the levels base level 1 1 to 6 m so we will take 7 8 frame 1 frame 6 frame a frame f slope ip1 ip2 click on ok view the drawing location desktop save ok drawings generated in this way we can generate drawing also so thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming important tutorials on different useful programs press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update